This video is all about the six minute daily habit that I have started that's totally transformed my voice and I'm going to include all the other stuff I do as well as part of a, a daily or weekly routine because these videos piss me off. When someone says six minutes is all they did and it totally transformed their voice but they don't share that they spent two hours working on other vocal techniques as well. So I'll be sharing all that but um, let's get into it. So every day I wake up at 6am Every day I wake up at 6.30am Every day I wake up and I get up and one of the first things I do before I start speaking, before I communicate with people, before I use my voice is I get this. It is a cocktail straw, one of the small ones, and because we were in lockdown at the time when I started doing this, I actually had to order a pack of a thousand. The good side to having a pack of a thousand is that these little straws now live in the car, uh, on my desk here, scattered all around the place, um, but very handy to pick up and grab and use. And what I do to start off the day vocally, every day, is this. Alexa, set timer for three minutes. Three minutes, starting now. I grab the straw and I literally do sirens. Nah, I know what you're thinking. I'm pretty sure the title of this video was uh, the six minutes that transformed my voice. Yes, I do this twice a day. Three minutes to start the day and three minutes at some point later on during the day. And it has drastically, drastically changed my vocals. But I want to walk you through a few hiccups that I had when I started using this straw. Because <laughs> chances are if you were gigging full time like me, you will have some of these same issues, potentially. One of the first things I noticed when I started using a straw was that I was actually expelling a lot of air through my nose as well. And I had to go through a phase, probably for maybe a week to two weeks, of blocking my nose. so that I could retrain these muscles, retrain how I naturally made sound and how much air I used so that it was only coming out of here, which relaxed the amount of pressure I was using. I use way less effort and if you use way less effort, funny thing is, it's a lot easier to sing. <laughs> it's obvious, right? But uh, I only discovered how much less uh, recently when using this straw. The second thing I noticed was over that week, my, especially the first week to two weeks, my voice felt really unsettled. I was using new muscles, I was finally uh, using my voice in a different way, so when I did sing and perform like I normally would, my voice felt strange. Uh, it felt unusual because it was tr going back to habits that I've had for 10 plus, 20 plus years perhaps. Uh, and then uh, also being like, but we've spent time each day developing some new habits, singing differently. So you might experience that if you test this out, some unusual, uh, uncomfortable feelings going on as well. Along with needing to hold my nose for the first week to two weeks on and off to just to check that no air was escaping there, one of the other things I did was simply practice singing a note through the straw and then just blowing air through and then singing a note and trying to keep that uh, a consistent breath. Mm -hmm. 
and it really doesn't matter how it sounds. Uh, the good side is you're focusing on what it feels like. This helped me to focus on what it feels like because it just sounds a little bit silly anyway. And uh, at this point in the video, I should say that there's some lovely birds singing outside. So if that's what you've been hearing, that's what's going on. So I promised at the start of this video I would share my full uh, routine and vocal habits. And what that is, is every day, three minutes in the morning, I would use a straw. Three minutes sometime in the afternoon or the evening, I would use a straw. I wanted to train my voice to work in a much more relaxed manner. And that just meant it had to be a daily thing for me. Then, every two or three days, I would do approximately 30 minutes to an hour. And I would do two things. I would either go through uh, Per Bristow's Singing Zone videos. I highly, highly recommend them. Some of you that know me know that that started change, the process of changing my voice drastically to the point where I, I didn't lose my voice anymore for gigs and shows. And uh, so I'll either do that or I will do some uh, curated, shall we say, some tailored videos that were sent to me as part of some one-on-one -on -one sessions I've been doing with Singdaptive. Um, and Singdaptive is an online program. Uh, there'll be a link to both those programs below, but they're an online program where you can have one-on-one -on -one coaching and I've been doing some work with them recently. In fact, the straw came out of doing some work with Mandy on Singdaptive. So I'm very grateful to you, Mandy. Thank you. So, to wrap up this video, I have a challenge for you. And that is to get one of these straws, the small cocktail style straws. You can go to your local Starbucks and probably grab one rather than buying a thousand like I did. But <laughs> you probably have options. But for the next two weeks, uh, in fact, let's say 21 days, right? Put one of these straws by your bed, on your desk. Uh, in the car, in the kitchen, in the bathroom. Okay, so probably not there, but you get the idea. Wherever you go on a regular basis, so it's going to be easy for you to pick up. I don't care at all what sound you make uh, using the straw. Uh, you can do a siren, you can just make notes. Zero cares on my part and zero cares on how it sounds. But twice a day, for three minutes. I just want you to sing, vocalize through this straw. Uh, if you need to, block your nose so that the only air coming out is through here. And then comment below in two weeks, in 21 days, whichever you choose. Uh, comment on this video what's changed with your voice. Uh, my expectation is you might find if you've been singing for a long time, your voice might feel a little unsettled to start with, a little strange. And then what you might find is, huh, today I just, I hit the high notes a whole lot easier. That was cool. Um, in fact, even using the straw in a couple of weeks, you might find when I started out with the straw, it was really challenging. And uh, I couldn't seem to go through my full range very easily. Now, it's, it's become very natural. I feel much more relaxed after using it. Uh, I'd love to hear your story, so please do share them uh, if you take on this challenge. And if you've watched this video to this point and you think, oh my gosh, how have I possibly spent this much time listening to this human talk about singing through a straw and you don't take it up at all, that's fine. Uh, you do you, but obviously you now have perhaps a curiosity about what it might shift for you. <laughs> I have linked uh, a bunch of things that I've talked about below along with some of the research that uh, Ingo Tietze, I think is how you pronounce his name, did on why this is so effective. So if you want to go and read further, awesome. Um, but reading all of that will not substitute a practical application for doing this on a daily basis. So enjoy. Uh, feel free to reach out and I look forward to you sharing your 
stories of uh, magical voice transformation as I have experienced. Much love everybody. See you later. Yeah? <laughs>